Yeah, welcome to yet another Blitz game. Five minutes on ICC playing E4. We've got a Sicilian. Yeah, I'm not um, a regular E4 player, so always interesting to see what happens. Yeah, I don't, I don't really want a Spechnikov or something like that. I play Bishop to B5. Yeah, B takes uh, C6 is um, leading to different position than than D takes C6. D takes C6 is um, a bit more common. Uh, the only thing I know is that um, White should go for C3 D4 against the B takes C6 setup. I know it um, helps Black to get rid of the the double pawn. But it also gives white um, a good center and ideas against the c6 pawn. Hmm. Yeah, for example, right now I could consider queen a4. I'm not sure. Bishop g4 looks um, like a somewhat somewhat strange move to me. Like um, I would get the bishop pair or just win a tempo some point. Yeah I could um, I could play this uh, this attack on, on the C pawn, Queen A4. I'm not sure if uh, taking on F3 is uh, is a big deal. Okay, or maybe <clears throat> just play play it simple this knight d2 so that I can recapture with uh, the knight under the right circumstance and now quickly get on the c6 pawn. This was my idea with knight to d2. Maybe this is... Um, I think normally knight, knight c3 is, um, is played in this structure from what I know, but um, a friend of mine, a former teammate, he used to play uh, this, this way as black and I know they usually played uh, with knight c3. Yeah, mm -hmm. b3 now. Yeah, probably <clears throat> securing the the queen side. But now a2 is hanging, so oh, I can even play rook c2. I want to double up um, on the c file anyway later. Okay, so now let's get rid of this bishop, or, it, or <clears throat> get rid of the pin. Okay, he gives me this uh, bishop, surprisingly. I thought bishop d7. Certainly don't mind to, um, to not uh, play against the bishop pair anymore. The bishops weren't so dangerous, but um, still. I was more expecting um, a retreat, and maybe this was was the idea. Preparing c5 in this in this way. On c5, um, uh, maybe he's got knight e5. Hmm, well, this is possible. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, I need to take. I thought uh, maybe knight e5 was an idea, but um, maybe it's just nonsense, but it certainly um, was uh, was something to um, to consider. Okay, so <clears throat> in this structure, now he's got a very good bishop on g7, which might go to d4, being secured by the um, by the c pawn. And um, I've got this weakness um, that I can play against on c5. The question is, um, how do I position the pieces? I would like um, the knight on f3 so that this uh, bishop is attacked immediately. I'm not sure about knight c4. I mean, it's, it's, look, it's looking nice on c4, but it doesn't attack anything. 
I want to really go to f3. And pawn to e5 would be nice positionally, but um, it's covered, unfortunately. Hmm. Not sure how to how to how to play that. It looks like a strange square for the queen, really. But I want to go to f3, and I didn't see another square. I mean g3, yeah, but it's 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 um, also looking weird. Okay, so I got to f3. Yeah, now I'm threatening, I think, e5, cutting off the bishop. It maybe gives him the d5 square, so nah, not sure if it's really a threat. But still, it looks like um, that the knight is correct on, on f3. Need to play quickly, gaining a bit of time. <clears throat> e5 instantly also was an idea, but I'm not sure yet if this is really great. He cannot play uh, bishop d4, I think. I mean, he can, but it, it it's not. Um, I'll be h6 is hanging now, so um, he cannot even cannot even consider this. So e5 now, or should I wait? Uh, let's let's go for this. E6 also also a possibility. Really weakening his uh, his structure. Oh, e6, interesting. So should I transfer the knight to c4 now? Let's uh, let's do this. It's very secure on c4, and it's got uh, this idea of knight d6 coming. I win a tempo on the queen, and then I can also play rook e2 and uh, and secure the pawn. Yeah, hmm. not sure if I played this in the best possible way. Maybe it um, it wasn't wasn't so great. Yeah, this e5 move. Hmm. Yeah, it looks nice, but it gives it gives black this d farm. Yeah, should I take a5? Good question. Rook e5. Hmm. Maybe I still <clears throat> needed to do that. Now I've got knight c6 <clears throat> as a possibility. Or rook c5. Complicated. <clears throat> I take knights, maybe knight c6 now. Oh, he's in a lot of <clears throat> in some in some forks, and c5 is hanging. Of course, my my pawn structure is a wreck, but it's two um, two pass pawns. Hmm. This is annoying, this uh, attack, okay. So now <clears throat> maybe use the use the A pawn. Check. Yeah, it should it should be fine for white, but time warning. So Still not completely easy. Yeah, pawns are equal, but I've got uh, I've got the better pawns. Check. Black. 
Somehow he managed it's very yet with what that was happening with the time here. Yeah, okay, now he's got the the H pawn, but I was just uh, looking at the clock, <laughs> waiting for him to to um, to to lose on time. And maybe this is good now for Black, yeah, with the H pawn, possible. It was certainly uh, winning around here, I think, with the uh, yeah computer gives plus three, yeah, with the with the pawns here. <clears throat> yeah, a bit unclear. I think I misplayed this and. Uh, Around here, it, it should be somewhat better for white, but um, maybe yeah. uh, knight e5. Computer gives knight e5 in this position. This looks like a good idea. Just attacking f7, and how do you pr uh, protect this? Maybe rook f8 you need to play. Yeah, it's much better than what I played. I think this is really a mistake. I was having some doubts during the game, but... Uh, it's difficult with little time. This simply helps him to play rook d5, rook d8, get get something on the d file. And here, this is already tricky. Yeah, it looks nice on c4 this night, but he's got the d file, and an open file counts for something. Yeah, I played this badly. A bit lucky that um, he got lost in the tactics and. Um, lost some time at the end. Yeah, thanks for watching.